Hi, this is Tim here. I hope you're doing well. Um, I just wanted to give you an update on um, the low-cost trainer. Um, we've spent 80% oh, of our time really on the mechanical, whoops, on the mechanical design of this trainer, and uh, we've started to like wire it up, wire the the sensors, and wire the PLC and everything. And uh, we've kind of um, had to change our design or modified it just a little bit and I just want to show you the changes that we've done um, we take for example the the this um, puck dispenser we have uh, two reed switches we have an optical sensor here so each of those has three wires uh, 24 zero volts and a signal so this entire station had it had a, a roughly 11 wires that it needed to all coming back to this area here. So um, this this electrical system, these are our um, breakout boxes that provide the signals to the PLC, and then this is our bus. So this is our zero volts, and this is our 24 volts. 24 volts. So what we what we did is we just added a, a terminal strip on each of the stations. Okay, so each, each station has a terminal strip, and what that allows it is, oops, sorry here, I'm getting caught, my jumper's getting caught here. What that allows is, let's say we want to take this um, linear actuator out, I can just easily unscrew these six cables and uh, detach it, and it's its own entity now. And the same goes for that. I just can remove these four screws here, unscrew this, and the whole thing will come out. So it's it's a lot more mod modular, and it, it, it really reduces the number of cables. So what changes? Um, some of you have started to build um, the, the puck dispenser and the cup dispenser and this um, candy uh, dispenser, candy filler. Uh, I'm not using candy anymore, I'm using Delrin balls and uh, it seems to work quite well and I've, I've also done a few more changes. So these are the, really the last changes I'm going to do to this, these uh, stations. Uh, you're going to have to add this terminal strip and uh, this will really, um, because I'm, pay I'm combining all the 24 volts and I'm combining all the zero volts, it, it it really um, minimizes the, it brings down the number of cables. And this is not a, a, complete, a complete rat's nest anymore. There was probably twice as many cables. Uh, so it's a lot more organized. Um, what else, what other changes have I done? I've added this um, optical sensor there that tells the PLC when the cups are, when the cups are empty, when, the, when, the cups have, um, when there's no cups left. Um, if you've already 3D printed this, you're going to have to mark this up, um, drill out that, we had to do it here, you're going to have to drill out that pocket and you're going to have to add a couple of holes or you're going to have to reprint that part, but it, we just modified ours. Um, and then we've also added a capacitive sensor to this. This is like a, a $12 part, it's called a capacitive proximity sensor and just a little bracket on there. And what that will do is it will tell the PLC when the balls are empty and it actually works uh, via capacitance. Once all the balls go or when all the skittles are empty, this turns on. Um, so that's it, they're, they're the two main changes. So um, I'm gonna update our drawings and um, I'm gonna, I'm creating a, um, I'm creating uh, the electrical diagrams, the wiring diagrams for all of this. Okay, so these are good. I think these are good changes, and they they've definitely um, made the wiring a lot a lot easier. So um, that's it.